Hello everyone and welcome to another energy fitness YouTube workout. Thank you so much for joining me again today with these workouts. I'm so happy to have you all here with me. Today we are working on chest and shoulders. So it's going to be a really great pump by the end of this. I guarantee you'll be dead afterward. So all we're going to need for this workout is two different sets of dumbbells. I have a lighter set and I have a heavier set. So I have 20s and 10s. We're going to be doing 12 reps of each exercise. We're going to be doing either supersets or circuits, circuits including three exercises. So take rest as you need it. Like I said, I'm just here to guide you, but we will be resting at the end of all the exercises. So play your own music, grab a buddy, grab your mat, and grab some water. That's all you'll need for this workout. And just follow along, and I hope you enjoy. Let's do this. All right, welcome everyone to chest and shoulders dumbbell workout. This first circuit, we're doing a chest press with an alternating finish, decline flies, and some underhand dumbbell push-ups. We're starting here with the chest press, pressing both dumbbells at the same time, trying to breathe out as we press, just gently grazing my elbows to the floor, before pressing the weights back up. Like I said, we're doing 12 reps. We're doing three sets of each exercise or circuit or superset. Now we're into the alternating. So we're doing 10 reps of alternating chest press. One at a time, going back up to meet the other dumbbell. All right, done with our 12 reps of presses. Now we're moving on to decline chest flies. So the decline, we're gonna be up in a glute bridge, fly out to the sides, bring it back to the center. So with these, we are breathing in as we do there are big hugs and breathe out as we bring the weights back together. Trying to keep our hips up off the ground, nice and high, pressing with the heels to lift the hips. Two and one here, working some legs and upper body. Done, 12 reps of those. Now we're moving on to the underhand dumbbell push-ups and my dog running in and out of the frame. <laughs> he likes to be around. Breathing out as we press up with these push-ups. You can do them from your knees or your toes. I'm placing the dumbbells in a V-shape, which is more comfortable on the wrists, rather just straight horizontal. So this is me showing the knee version. Very effective exercise with the underhand grip. Awesome. We are done our first round. Great job, everyone. Always good to have water on hand. Keep it close. Water is your best friend. Keeps you hydrated, keeps you flushed out, keeps you feeling good, feeling healthy. All right, we're shaking it out. Definitely feeling the chest, definitely feeling the shoulders. Now we're getting ready for our round two. So rest as you need between. If you need longer, that's totally fine. We're gonna start round two for the first circuit again. So starting off with the chest press and the alternating finish. You can bend your legs if you want or keep them straight, up to you. 12 reps again. Take your time, really feel those muscles contracting and extending. Working together. Awesome job, great work. All right, switching into the alternating, 10 reps to finish. This is a great way to burn out or really work your pec muscles, switching your grips, switching your style of lift. All right. Now we're going back to the decline flies. You can switch your weights if you want. If you want a bit lighter, that's totally fine. Going up into position, big hugs. So breathing in as we hug, breathing out as we bring back together. 
Try to keep those hips up. Keep pressing with those heels. Twelve reps. Make sure we're squeezing the glutes. All done. All right. Now we're on to those underhand dumbbell push-ups again. So in a V position, I find is more comfortable in the wrists. Knees or toes. All right, 12 reps here. So this kind of mimics more of a decline chest press with the underhand grip. Just getting full coverage of the chest, of the pecs, of the shoulders. I guarantee by the end, they'll feel toast <laughs> in the best way. Awesome. Take a breather. Then we have one more lap of each exercise. Three is the magic number. It's been proven three sets is more effective than doing less than that. You can always do more, but three is the magic number. All right, final round of those three exercises. Chest press, decline flies, and the push-ups. All right, here we go. Breathing out as we press up. Last 12 reps. The sun is also super hot. I remember sweating like crazy. Nice hot black mat too. It is nice to work out outside though. Love the fresh air. Keep going, you're doing awesome. Now we're switching, alternating. Chest press, there goes Banksy again. <laughs> awesome work. Almost done. Done. All right. Now back to the decline flies one more time. Using whatever weights are best for you. Deep breaths, keep those hips up. Big breathe in as we reach out and then breathe out as we bring them back together. Almost done, awesome. All right, one more of the push-ups, then we're done with these, this first circuit. All right, last 12. Big breathe out as we push ourselves up, breathing in as we head down, keeping our head down as well. Keep going, everybody's doing so great. Almost there. And done. Awesome job. Take a little breather, grab some water, change your song if you listen to music. Okay, starting back at our second circuit for our first round, we are doing an alternating front and lateral raises, a close press and underhand front raises. So I've got my lighter weights now, starting with that first exercise alternating front and lateral raises. So one arm is lateral, one arm is a front raise. Alternating between the two. This exercise can take some getting used to, so it's always good to start light, work our way up. Still doing 12 reps like we were before, and three rounds of each exercise. Awesome. All right, now we are moving on to the close press, 12 reps. So the close press, the dumbbells are stuck right together and are stuck together the entire time throughout the movement. Breathing out as we press them up. You should feel more of your inner chest firing with this version of a press. Just forcing those dumbbells together will force 
the inner chest muscles to activate. Slow and controlled for every exercise is always the best. All right, 12 reps of those are done. Now we're doing underhand front raises. So I'm gonna go a bit lighter with these. You can stand or kneel, that's totally up to you. Palms are up and then lifting to shoulder height. Breathe out as we lift. Really trying to engage the chest, fronts of the shoulders, the core as well by maintaining our balance. Big deep breaths, breathe out as you lift. 12 reps, all done, awesome. All right, we're setting those down. Take a breather. Now we're doing a Gymshark appreciation, of course. Love my Gymshark gear, I wear them all the time. I love all of their products. I wear their shirts, their tanks, their shorts. Love all the designs, the decals. It's always very breathable, very comfortable, and are always very suitable for every workout that I do. Really, really love their products. Highly recommend checking them out. Awesome. Okay, moving on to round two, starting with those alternating lateral and front raises. So with these, since both arms are working at the same time, we are counting 12 reps for each lift. Lifting to shoulder height, keeping that core engaged. That's good. All right, we're setting those down. Going back down for the close press. So I grab the heavier weights here. Weights are stuck together. Keeping them over the chest. Breathing out as we press them up. Feeling those inner pecs firing as we press. Big deep breaths. Awesome, 12 reps done. All right, moving on to the front underhand raises. So our palms are up. This is gonna recruit a little bit more of the chest muscles while also working the shoulders. Breathe out as we lift, in as we lower the dumbbells back down by our sides. Great work, keep pushing. You got this. Awesome. That's it. Great job, everyone. That's our second set done. Feeling those shoulders. Boulder shoulders. Oh yeah, great feeling. You know you're getting bigger and stronger when you're feeling the burn and when you feel it the next day. So that's your reassurance that your goals are achievable and you're on your way. All right, one more round, woo! Flex those muscles, you got this, we got this. Let's do it, all right. First exercise, those alternating raises, 12 reps. Keeping our chest up, keeping our back straight. Not letting those shoulders round. Always want to keep our posture on point. Awesome. Done. Close press. So at any point, if you want to switch your weights to heavier, lighter, if you need to pause me, rewind me, anything at any time, please do that. Here we go. Close press. 12 reps. Taking our time through the exercise. More time under tension means more muscle tearing, means more gains. Almost done. Great work. All right. 
Done with the last set of those. Now we have one more of the underhand front raises. Kneeling, standing, whatever works. I'm partially kneeling for the purpose of this video, so if you'd like to try standing, I would say it's a bit more difficult in terms of maintaining your core and engaging that balance. Couple more reps. The burn! Great job! Awesome! All done. Oh yeah, it's hot in here! All right, moving on to the next circuit. Taking a breather, grab some water. Here we go. Okay, starting our third circuit, our first round with zeros. Here we go, palms are up, making a big zero. Just all the way above our head. We're breathing out as we lift up above our head. Breathing in as we bring them back down. We're doing 12 reps of these. Keep the chest up, keep the back straight. You could also do these standing as well. Awesome. Okay, now we're moving on to a kneeling underhand press. So palms are facing you and then pressing straight above the head. Just a bit of a rotation so you can see my position better. You don't need a lot of weight for this. This is also an exercise you could do seated or standing. 12 reps. All right, now we're doing the pronated crossovers as our last exercise of this circuit. So palms are down, bringing that dumbbell from opposite hip to shoulder, squeezing that pec muscle as we bring it across. Alternating arms. Keep chest up, back straight. Great work. Doing 12 on each side as one arm rests, as the one arm works. Almost there. That's it. All right, little breather. And then we're gonna take another round. We're gonna do two more rounds of this, and then we have a little tricep superset to do afterwards. So superset meaning only two exercises. So we'll get onto that afterward. But for now, still doing the chest and shoulders. I like to do a bit of stretching sometimes between exercises, do some deep breaths. It's always good to make sure that we're stretching our chest, shoulders, as with posture, they can be compromised. All right, next round. Zeros. 12 reps of the zeros. This exercise is harder than you think. It seems like it could be so simple, but it does burn. They all burn. Use whatever weights work for you. Just here to guide you. Awesome, that's 12. All right, moving on to the underhand press. Just pressing straight above the head. Great job. Keep pressing. I know it's burning. It's supposed to. It's good for you. Awesome. Now we're doing pronated crossovers. I really like this exercise. Sometimes it's nice to do an alternating exercise when you're doing a simultaneous exercise because it gives a little bit of a break to the muscle, but still working it for you know a solid half an hour and guaranteed you'll be sore after this. But it's nice to pair alternating exercises with simultaneous exercises. Awesome, we're doing great. Keep breathing, breathing out as we cross. All done. Great job, that's the second round done. Taking a little sip. That means we only have one more round to do. 
yes, my knees were definitely feeling a little bit tired, just pressure on them the whole time. So shake them out, shake the upper body. I find that really helps relieve pressure from the shoulders. So I just like to bring some blood flow back to them and get rid of that lactic acid that's causing the burn. Okay, one more round. We got this. Here we go, zeros. 12 reps of everything. Awesome, keeping our chest up. Keep breathing, keep pushing. You got this, this is our last round of each exercise. I believe in you. Awesome. Done. Okay. Kneeling under hand press. Here we go. Keeping the head looking forward. Try to keep the gaze up. Neutral spine. Squeezing the core. Done. Okay, one more pronated crossovers. Same thing. Keep the core nice and strong. Breathing out as we cross each dumbbell. Breathe in as we bring it back down. Great work, everyone. So proud of you for joining me on this workout. You're doing awesome, you're doing great. I'm just so proud that you're sticking it out with me. You're doing fantastic. Boom, done. Okay, taking a rest, then final superset for triceps. Okay, tricep superset time. So two exercises back to back, then we rest, and then we're done after this superset. Okay. We are starting with overhead tricep extensions, one arm at a time. So just bending the one arm back behind the head and extending the elbow to squeeze the tricep. I found the lower that I got with the dumbbell, the more I felt the pull on my tricep. So as far down my back as I could get, the better. Doing 12 reps still, so 12 on each side. Doing 12 on the other arm. Always have to keep it even or do a few extra reps on your weaker side. Keeping the core engaged, keeping our balance. Done. 12 on each side for those. Now we're doing tricep push-ups. I'm using the dumbbells just to help with wrists, keeping them super close to the body, arms super close to the body to really fire those triceps. So this could be done from knees or toes. Elbows tucked in right by my sides. 12 reps. And done. Oh yeah, feeling those triceps pop. Great work. We got this. Two more rounds of these triceps. So overhead superset, one arm at a time. Always start lighter and work your way up. Really extending that elbow, trying to squeeze that tricep. As much as you can squeeze it, the better. You can hold it for a second. Great work. Oh yeah, burn! Switching sides, doing the same thing on the other arm. You might find that one side is tighter than another or doesn't feel as comfortable. So just take note of that and maybe do a bit more stretching on that side after this workout. I have a 20 minute stretch video that you can follow along with afterward. Cool, done with those tricep push-ups. So now I'm doing them just right on the mat. So elbows still really close, 12 reps. 
I'm just showing different variations of the push-ups. Holding on to the dumbbells can be more comfortable on the wrists if you find your wrists get bothered. Done. Oh yeah. Feeling the pump. One more round and then we're all done. Oh yes. Flex those muscles. Check it out. Feel the pump. Embrace it. Love it. You've earned it. Okay. One more. Here we go. Here we go. Extend. I'm trying to press that dumbbell straight up. And I find gripping near the end of the dumbbell where the weight is can really get in that deep tissue muscle. It's just a bit of playing around and experience. You learn things from just trying different angles, positions get creative it's fun all right it's our last round of these give it all you got Try to hold it for a second feel that burn awesome good job done with those one more set of these tricep push-ups and then you're free to go all right, the knee version this time. Breathe out as we press. In on our way down. I felt myself slowly inching back as I kept pushing myself. Almost done. Yes. Great job, everyone. You deserve a big round of applause. You deserve a pat on the back. You deserve some water. You deserve it all. Great work. All right, great job, everybody. Hope you're feeling good after that workout. I hope the chest, shoulders, and the triceps are feeling pumped, are done. Feel free to do any stretching. So, you know, behind the back, stretch the chest, stretch the shoulders, cross the body, both sides, over the head. Hold those for each 30 seconds. I also have a full 20 minute stretch video on my YouTube channel. Check that out, it's a great stretch. You always feel really good afterward. And please tell your friends about my channel and about my workouts, about my Instagram. I really appreciate the support. And the more support, the more content that comes. So please, please, please share, refer. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much again for coming and joining me in this workout and have a great rest of your day. All right, see you later.